Hey guys, today we're going to learn about arrays in R. So arrays are the R data objects which can store data in more than two dimensions. For example, if we create an array of dimension 2, 3, 4, then it creates four rectangular matrices each with two rows and three columns. Arrays can uh, store only data type. An array is created using the array function. It takes vectors as input and uses the values in the dim parameter to create the array. So let's let's take a look at this. So let's create two vectors. So vector one and we do this by using C which is the concatenation um, function in R and we will go 5 comma 9 comma 3 and we'll also create a second vector that and again we'll call the concatenation and we'll go 10 comma 11 12 13 14 15 And if you wanted to make a comment, comments are used uses the hashtag symbol or the pound sign for some of the uh, older folk, and then you can take the above vectors and turn them into the array and the interpreter will ignore that because of the comment the pound sign so we'll pass this to a result and we'll call that array function and we're going to concatenate the two vectors, so vector one and then vector two, and then we'll set the dimension with dim equals and we wanted three three two and then we'll print result So here we go. We um, executed the, the code above and you can see that the output, it made the vectors and then created the arrays and you can also see in the global environment that we have that. Now we can give names to the rows, columns and matrices in the array by using dim names the sorry the dim name parameter and under vectors we'll, we'll put uh, call it column dot names and we'll concatenate 
at mate column one and I apologize need brackets around that column one column two column three and we'll also do row names so row dot names Again, row one, row two, row three. I like typing row four, don't I? And one more, we'll go matrix dot name. Cat mate. I'll call the first one Matrix One, and we'll call the second one Matrix Two. So we'll uh, just do a little bit of augmentation to this code below and we'll go dim names equals list and we want row dot names names column names and matrix names and now we'll execute that uh, that code so now instead of having just one and two with one two three and one two three we now have matrix one column one column two column three and we have uh, row one, two, and three, as well as matrix two, column one, column two, column three, as well as the rows. Okay, so the next part is being able to access array elements. So we have our, our lovely matrix down here, but this time we want to um, say we want to print the third row of the second matrix on the array. So how we would do this is we call the print function and we go result and then the square brackets. So we want the third row of the second matrix. And there we have that below, column two, column three, column one. And for fun, let's print the second matrix. So we would just go print result. And again, the square brackets two hyphens or two uh, two and we print out all of the second matrix okay so we're going to also look at manipulating array of elements as array um, is ra uh, 
An, the array is made up of matrices in multiple dimensions, so the operations on elements of array um, are carried out by uh, accessing elements of the matrices. So, okay, so we have our original vector and then um, vector one, vector two. Now we have a third and fourth vector. And we're doing the same thing. And so now we're going to create a mate, uh, we're going to pass in matrix one uh, with array one and two. So we added the two matrix together to create this one matrix, or sorry, arrays. We can also do some calculations on the arrays. So if we, and we'll use the apply function, and uh, if we go over to help and apply, oops. So the apply function over array margins returns a vector or an array or list of values obtained by applying a function to margins of an array or matrix. And here's the syntax, you have X, which would be our, um, our array, and then uh, the margin, and then the function. So let's, uh, let's give this a whirl. So let's uh, let's redo result, and I'm going to pass in apply, and we're going to let's call this result one, and we'll use that new matrix that we we just made, which was result. And we want um, column one. And we want to sum column one. And we get the result in 56, 68, and 60. Anyway, guys, this is uh, this has been a, a quick tutorial on arrays. Um, I've actually not used arrays a whole lot in uh, my work, but they are a very important part of the R language, so I thought I'd run through a quick lesson tutorial on how to use arrays. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one real soon.